so guys, Mr. Peter will be together with Dr. Dati Ahmed and the new Labour Party chairwoman, all of them headed to Medugri, you know, to commensurate with the people of Medugri. Guess what Peter will be did? He donated 50 million naira. We know that Peter will be as a private citizen has been doing a lot for Nigerians. And guess what? This time, he also sympathized with the people of Medugri over the devastation that was caused by the recent flood. So guys, just take a moment of that time. I'm so happy seeing Peter will be together with Dati Ahmed and this our unique chairwoman who held from Kaduna State. Honestly, the Labour Party is taking over the whole of Nigeria. Just take a look for yourself. We are going, we are going, we are going right now. Okay. Right. Okay. Hi. Okay. Our father here, we felt it necessary to come to physically sympathize with you and assure you of our commitment and the nation to remain together in this time of difficulty in whatever way we can. We've been to the government house and I have graciously seen the governor and I announced even an only little token contribution of 50 million for the Almighty and I will continue Amen. to grant you the grace to be able to stand and deal with this difficult situation and continue to bless the good people of Medjugorje, the good people of Bruno State and the good people of Nigeria. Thank you. Very humbly invite our first presidential candidate for prayers. So, guys, you have seen it. Yes, Peter Obi went to Medugri. Oh my god, to share his empathy with the people of Medugri. Peter Obi is good as at you know, meeting with people, listening to them, feeling you know, putting himself in the shoes of others. That is Peter Obi. When it happened in Benue State, Peter Obi was there. When it happened in Bayesa and other places, Peter Obi has always been in the business of helping people. Don't forget that Tinubu went there and there was this criticism that he did not even spend up to five minutes in Medugri. And people were like wondering what was the essence of him visiting. He visited because there have been a lot of outcry on Twitter as to why he still stayed abroad while flood was ravaging so many parts of Nigeria. I mean, people were really talking so many things about him, you know, not having empathy on the people he claimed he's leading. And guess what? He finally arrived in Nigeria and headed to Medugri. And then there was this criticism that he did not even spend up to five minutes with the people of Medugri. Can you imagine that? Take a look at this. He's not sympathetic. Let me take this uh, tweet uh, from Obi Nerik. Even if he had to spend five minutes. I mean, what does that imply? A lot of Nigerians say, they, they're saying that it signifies that he's not sympathetic. Let me take this uh, tweet uh, from Obi Nerik, who wrote, Did this disaster happen yesterday? This issue happened well over a week ago, and he still decided to stop at the United Kingdom before coming home to spend just five minutes with the people that put him in office. Are those foreign trips better than the lives of Nigerians? I know that we did have um, Adifemi Akinsoya here, and I saw that daily um, trust, trust yeah. report. If we can pull that daily trust report up, I mean, that also really talked about the fact that over, I mean, 40 billion, because I can't even believe it's 40 yeah. billion, had been, you know, given for this ecological 
fund. And a lot of questions have been raised because of that. I also had a breakdown of how much had been, you know, put out there for these ecological funds. But let me read this. Uh, there, there it is, the distribution of the ecological funds right there. And going by states, we see that Kano had over 1 billion Naira was distributed. This was all in the first quarter of 2024. Kaduna, 860 million. Katsina, 807 million. Lagos, 880 million. And Borno that we're talking about, yeah. 806. And the list goes on. Let me, my uh, Twitter uh, user can pull that up. Let me take a reaction to the reason why Nigerians are frustrated as to this issue of the dam. This is from Bribe, who wrote, The establishment of the disaster relief fund for the good people of Borno is the right thing to do. However, there is need for deeper investigation into the causes of the flood in a bid to find lasting solutions to this needlessly funding arising from broken dams. Can we have an audit report of all dams in the country and provide remedial actions where necessary? Also, there is need for a more coordinated approach to disaster management in this country. I thought that tweet yeah. was a coordinated approach. But we know that there's been a lot of donations so far. I believe that last week, the president of the Dangote group, Alhaji Aliko Dangote, announced a donation of 2 billion naira. To us. So to this. over the years in this country, ecological fund has been always chop chop money. Governors like chop it mm -hmm. like security vote. That's what they do. There was a former governor that they've been asking him questions about ecological fund. I, I don't know how that case may when we went to prison or not. We need to be able to investigate that. But Governor Zulu also share part of the blame. This Alu disaster can also be traced back to where he dropped the ball. He's a great guy. Yeah. We've been Lovely singing guy. his praise. But on this, on this, yes. he's part of the problem and he shares the blame. Yeah. He sent a delegation to the dam where they were complaining about the dam a couple of days before this happened. And his delegation said no cause for alarm. So has he been able to investigate the people he sent? Yeah. And what kind of information they got? Yeah. What was his own peer review mechanism? Then the holistic investigation about the dam, over 700 million thereabouts, what has been done as regards that? How many people have been brought to book? Then also, Governor Zulu, please, it's not the time. You have to look at the money coming in and they ensure that they spend it judicially. We have seen how they loot relief money in this country a lot and IDP Unacceptable. money. Yeah. It, it's only in this country that people are in distress. They loot relief money. Right. So please, how can we get to the bottom of this and ensure that this money is not relooted? Absolutely. Commendations to all of those that have donated. People mm -hmm. too should donate more to be able to help the people. Mm -hmm. But we must bring about accountability. Accountability, investigations. Over 30 people have died. One million people displaced. When the investigation comes out, heads must roll. This is unacceptable. We'll take another story. Lawyers of Aswa Igodalu have filed a 20 billion naira defamatory lawsuit against Senator Adam over comments he made on the Plan Well scheme. Oshomele, during a campaign rally on Saturday, claimed that Igodalu was associated with an alleged pyramid scheme known as Plan Well, in which numerous Nigerians were defrauded of their hard earned funds. Igodalu through. So, guys, you have seen it for yourself. This is one of the things that we keep saying that leadership is all about empathy, understanding what the people are going through, and sharing parts of their moments with them. Let me know what you think about this video in the comment section below. Please don't forget to subscribe to the channel, turn on the notification bell. Please give this video a like so that YouTube can recommend it to others and drop your thoughts in the comment section below. Thank you.